Hello guys, this is Dia. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Singapore and Bali travel diaries. So for the third installment of this series, we are finally in Bali. And to be specific, we are in the Ayana Resort in Jimbaran, Bali. So the Ayana Resort in Bali is not like just any other resort. It is a super luxurious five-star property in Jimbaran, Bali, sprawling over an area of 90 hectares overlooking the Indian Ocean. And from your first step inside this resort, you can feel the luxury seeping in through every corner. You just look at this amazing architecture of a hanging infinity pool within which you can sit and just chill. This was something that I've never seen before and it was so awesome. And that's not all. There's a host of other facilities and amenities provided inside this resort. I'll tell you more about them as we go on with the vlog. And one more thing that I'd like to mention is that the staff here was so friendly and nice and cooperative. Uh, I'm sure you saw how they welcomed us with the garlands and a huge smile on their face. And not just that, we were also given a very delicious hibiscus tea as a welcome drink. So that was pretty nice too. Now let me tell you here that this Ayana Resort comprises of three resorts in total. The first is the main Ayana Beach Resort, the second one is Sigara and the third one is Rimba. So we got done with our formalities at the main reception at Ayana and then made our way to Rimba, which is where our rooms were located. Now this property is just so huge that traveling from one part of the place to the other is not possible by foot. So we had to take a buggy and this buggy facility was provided for free for all the guests. Here we are at the Rimba reception. And yes, every single resort inside the Ayana have their own separate reception and that is not all. All the three resorts are very distinct and unique from each other, each having their own special type of architecture and look and feel and vibe to it. Here is a glimpse of our room and since we were four people we had booked a suite room where they provided us with two rooms that were connected with each other. This is one of the rooms and I can definitely say that it was so aesthetically pleasing the decor and the furniture. And even the bathroom guys, the bathroom was so luxurious. It was probably the most high class bathroom that I've ever been in. Even the complimentary stuffs that they provided were so top notch and arranged so beautifully. Look at that gorgeous bathtub and how they decorated it for us. And both our rooms were provided with a balcony and the view from the balcony was to die for. There was a pool just by our room, so once we were done checking in, we went there for a relaxing swim. While on the subject of pools, let me take you guys through the amazing list of facilities and amenities that we got to experience here at the Ayana Resort. Starting with the pools, obviously. So here at the Ayana Resort, you will find 12 freshwater swimming pools. Yes, 12 of them, each with their own distinct features, which also includes a children's pool and a water infinity ocean beach pool, as well as their very own private white sand beach called the Kubu Beach. How amazing is that? Well, all that swimming has got to make you feel hungry, right? But worry not, because at the Ayana, you have 11 dining options to choose from and all these restaurants serve cuisines from all over the globe. After a nice swimming session, we freshened up and decided to explore the different parts of the resorts a little bit. So here we are on our way to explore everything that the resort has to offer. Now we stayed in this resort for three days and that is not sufficient time to explore everything that you can find here in this amazing property. But still, what all we could experience gave us so much to cherish and remember. The overall vibe of this place was very soothing and calming for sure. But if you're someone who likes to turn the volume up and have a party at full blast, there is something for you too. 
because within the Ayana Resort you find the Rock Bar, which is an award-winning cliffside bar and a definite hotspot for party goers. Here is a little glimpse of the Rock Bar. Now we weren't really in a mood to party, so we just saw it from afar. But even from this distance, I could tell that the people in there were having the time of their lives. We kept walking around in search of more wonderful views and definitely we weren't disappointed as you can see. And finally, we sat down for dinner at one of the restaurants within the facility, which was called Padi. This was an Asian restaurant and we had some very delicious and authentic Indonesian food. It was very wholesome and definitely the perfect way to end our first night here at Ayana. But wait, I have a lot more to share with you guys about our experience of staying here at Ayana and I'll be definitely doing that in the future parts of this series. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and drop a comment letting me know your thoughts about this video and share this with anyone you think might enjoy it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ding the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as a new part of this series gets uploaded. That is all. I'll see you in the next one then. Bye!